Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera In this video, I would like to show to you how are we going to apply another one more module which is provided in SOLIDWORKS which is known as Sheet Metal Module So guys, let's get started Let's say you do not have this sheet metal uh, tab or sheet metal tuba What you need to do is that you just need to bring your cursor to any of this tab and then let's say if you don't have this one right this sheet metal toolbar or tab so what you need to do is that you just need to bring your cursor to any of this tab then right click and then you go and search for sheet metal and then you click it let's say for example you don't have this one right okay the sheet metal so just go to any of this tab right click and then click or select the sheet metal and the sheet metal toolbar will appear alright so now uh, let's say I'm going to pick my top plane as my sketch plane so I'm going to start with my new sketch and let's say I'm going to have a uh, rectangle shape like this and I'm going to indicate with uh, the dimension whereby the length of this one let's say I'm going to make it 100 and same to go with this side which is 100 as well okay and then I'm going to uh, pick the sheet metal I'm going to make it be base flange or tab right so I'm going to this is something like you we're going to extrude this okay we're going to extrude this uh, sketch okay in the form of sheet metal so I'm going to pick this base flange and this particular of this flange dialog box will appear and as you can see over here this is the thickness of the sheet metal okay the standard of the sheet metals uh, thickness okay let's say in this case i'm going to pick 1 mm whereby the bend allowance uh more probably i can i can uh, indicate this as half of this thickness all right Okay, let's say, uh, okay, once of everything is confirmed already, so I just need to click or select OK. There you are, alright. So another way to do is that, another way to do is that, you can just simply, okay. Okay, let's say in this case I'm going to pick my front plane or you can use either right plane or front plane as well in order to have, uh, in order to create a sketch. So you just need to go to front plane or right plane as well, mission two just now, and then sketch. Okay. Then what you need to do is that you just need to create a line. Just now it's a closed loop. Uh, uh, I've already created a closed loop uh, square shape of a sketch, but this time I just would like to create a line, which is an open loop. And let's say I'm going to create or indicate the dimension with again with 100 same with just now then I can straight away go to the sheet metals and I'm going to pick the best flange or tab there you are okay so in this case let's say I'm going to indicate this is the sheet metal same uh, as uh, just now okay this is the sheet metal thickness uh, whereby this is the uh, the radius of okay this is the radius let's I'm going to again I'm going to make it 0 0.5 as well and the band allowance also I'm going to make it 0 0.5 and uh, let's say I'm going to create this one okay the direction uh, this is for direction one and we do have also direction two here okay this is the direction two okay as you can see over here so this is actually the length okay the length for the direction one this is the length let's say i'm going to off my direction two and i'm going to make it uh, the direction one as mid plane and let's say i'm going to make it 100 mm there you are okay so once after confirm okay this is the direction or this is the uh, distance or length of this particular of sheet metal from the street 
open uh, sketch, the straight line of, uh, of, of an open sketch. And this is the thickness of the sheet metals. This is the radius of, and also this is the bend allowance. Okay, this is the radius once when it it bend. Okay, when when once when we bend this particular sheet metals. So this is the radius, and this is the bend allowance. And that was after confirm. Just need to click. Okay, this, so this is another way to do, in order to create uh, like this. Uh, uh, preliminary platform of the sheet metals okay so let's see I'm going to close this and I'm going to uh, use this one and now I'm going to use the each plan in order to add my uh, wall at all these four edges of the sheet metals okay so I need, what I need to do is that I need to go to each flange here and as you can see over here okay flange operator flange parameters you can either pick the top edge or the bottom edge let's say if you pick the top edge and you need to bring your cursor just click anywhere no need to worry about the height of this wall why because you can adjust it over here okay let's say the height of this wall let's say i'm going to make it 40 mm there you are and as what I mentioned to you just now that I would like to create all these four edges with, with walls. Therefore, since I've already selected just now for the flange parameters, the top edge, therefore, for all the uh, uh, the edges, another three more edges, I need to select it at the bottom, bottom edge as well. Okay, right, so need to click here like that. If you choose bottom, so the rest of the edge you need to select the bottom bottom side okay but since i've already selected just now the top side therefore the rest of the edges so i'm going to select it at the at the top top edge okay on the right so okay so they are all right so as you can see over here uh this particular of uh, all four walls facing upwards even as you can see over here the all the arrows are facing up, uh, upwards all right so let's say let's say for example i would like to have this wall together with with this wall facing downwards okay so what i need to do is that i just need to bring my cursor to this arrow and just click once only okay reverse direction click once only there you are same to go with this one okay once only there you are okay so uh, as you can see over here both of these walls the since the arrows are facing upwards so means that it will look like this whereas both of these it looks like this since the both both of these arrows facing facing downwards okay however uh let's say I'm, i i i would like to make both of these walls facing upwards like this and as you can see over here that all the angles, the bending angles are 90 degrees. Okay. However, you can play around with these angles. All right. All right. So let's say I'm going to increase the angles. So I'm going to play around with this one. Okay. There you are. Okay. If let's say I'm going to reduce the angle. So it will become like that. Okay. There you are. Okay. Alright. So let's say I'm going to apply with this one. So I just need to click OK. Alright. There you are. So it will look like that. Okay. And if I flatten it, so in bahasa we call it, it as hamparan okay hamparan okay so if i flatten it how i'm going to flatten it so i need to go to this icon command which is flatten okay so just click flatten there you are so it will become like that okay it will become like that so to exit from this uh, hamparan lukisan hamparan or, or uh, uh, pandangan hamparan or flatten view so what you need to do is that you just either click again this icon or you can just bring your cursor and just click this one over here okay just click this one there you are 
So let's say I'm going to continue with view more. Let's say I'm going to proceed again with my each flange. And let's say this time I'm going to pick this one. Okay, and let's say as you can see over here, it is 90 degrees. Okay, it's in 90 degrees because by default if the angle is 90 degrees. Plus so I'm going to make it somewhere along here like that. And the length of my new again this one you I, you can either pick this edge or this edge okay it doesn't matter for this case it's because it is since it is independent okay this is this is independent so i just pick it at the outer edge however let's if you were, would like to create both from here and here together so if you pick this one the outer edge not, not the inner one not the inner edge but the outer edge therefore for this case also you need to pick it at at this particular of each right there you are like that but let's see if you just would like to have only one side here so it should be no problem so this i just would like to have only one side here and then uh, the length of this particular of my new flange of sheet metals let's i'm going to make it 50 mm whereby let's see the angle i'm going to make this view the angle let's say i'm going to uh, play around with this, this one is I'm going to make it somewhere around let's say 75 mm like that so that it can have a straight uh, I mean the straight uh, uh, positions like this all right so let's say once after confirm okay once after confirm you just need to click ok there you are all right so again, if we flatten it, if we flatten it, so it will look like this. There you are. So, okay guys, so you can play around with this. This this, this uh, sheet metal is very straightforward. It's very straightforward. Let's say again, for this case, I'm going to uh, apply my each flange. And let's say this time, I'm going to have the this one. I'm going to pick the inner each same to go with this one the inner edge now let's i'm going to make it both of this one the length is i'm going to make it 50 50 mm and same to go uh, with the um, angle so let's see the angle i'm going to uh, make it flatten so there you are so 105 once after confirm then you just need to click ok alright so you can apply also uh, uh, other uh, features such as the uh, cut extrude okay, extrude cut and let's see if you would like to get a simple hole as well okay let's say uh, I'm going to apply my uh, um, fillet so I can just simply go to my features and I'm going to go to fillet or you can also apply chamfer okay so in this case i'm going to apply fillet and i'm going to apply it somewhere around here because uh, let's say uh, normally uh, in the sheet metals we go uh, mo uh, normally like okay, okay mostly we're going uh, we, uh, we're going to apply the uh, either fillets or chamfer at the edges of the sheet metal why because uh, the sheet metal will produce the sharp edges right so that's why normally uh, each of the sharp edges uh, we can apply either the uh, fillet commands or the chamfer commands all right so let's say i'm going to apply all of these uh, sharp edges with uh, the fillets 10 mm fillets not face should be at this edge same to go with this one and let's say this one as well and the last one which is this one you can try out try out later with the chamfer okay okay you can try out uh, try, try out uh, with the chamfer also <coughs> let's say once after confirm i just need to click ok there you are so you're going to have like this Okay, let's say I'm going to apply uh, with a um, uh, 
slot here. Let's I'm going to create a slot here. Okay. I'm going to create a slot here. So I'm going to pick this face as my sketch plane. Oh before that, uh try we we'll try have a look how does it look like if we flatten it. So it will look like this. Okay guys. Okay, so all these are the uh uh edges which we already uh applied with the uh, fillet uh, command right so that's why i did mention to you just now that i'm going to proceed with a slot over here so i'm going to pick this surface sketch normal to okay and then i'm going to apply my straight slot let's see i'm going to apply somewhere around here and let's say I'm going to indicate the dimensions with 3mm the radius whereby the length, let's I'm going to make it 30mm, the length of the slot and the distance between this center line of the slot to this edge so I'm going to make it 10mm let's see how it looks like and then <coughs> Let's see, uh, I'm going to create one line, center line here. Mm, let's see around here. Okay, never mind. Yes, I'm going to indicate the dimensions. Okay, dimension from here to this edge. Let's I'm going to make it 10 as well. 10 mm as well. Okay, there you are. So now let's say, once after we confirm this one, and I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to go to uh, sheet metals and I'm going to extrude cut. There you are. And I'm going to make it, it up to next, which is up to the next surface, which is the bottom surface. Okay. Up to next, it means that up to the bottom surface of this, uh, this, uh, uh, section section uh, sheet metals okay so just click ok there you are so now I'm going to proceed with my I'm going to go to features and then I'm going to proceed with my linear pattern and the direction should be this one okay the arrow make sure I'm going to, uh, they should be facing at this side and let's say the distance between each slot i'm going to increase it to 20 and the features that i'm going to uh pattern is this extrude cut oh i uh, let's say i'm going to reduce it to 10 mm see how does it looks like and then i'm going to increase the item of the slot the numbers of the slot as well let's say there you are so once after confirm i just need to click ok Right. Okay, like that. And even we can apply the mirror as well. The mirror. So I'm going to pick this mirror under features, mirror plane. This I'm going to have this right plane as my my mirror plane uh, or mirror face or mirror plane. And features to mirror is this pattern. There you are. All right so this is how you can play around with the uh, sheet metals all right and this i'm going to flatten it so i need to go to sheet metal toolbar or sheet metal tab and i'm going to flatten it there you are so it looks like this okay all right is there anything that we can uh, add the features okay let's i'm going to pick this surface as my sketch plane and then again i'm going to apply but this time i'm going to apply a circle i'm going to start it at the mid midpoint of this edge and then let's i'm going to have some sort of like this kind of shape with the diameter let's say i'm going to make it 70 mm all right then I'm going to cut it through all so I need to go to sheet metal and extruded cut and I'm going to make it through all there you are and don't forget 
once we talk, as I mentioned to you just now, that once we talk about the sheet metals, definitely it will produce the sharp edges. So we're going to eliminate or avoid the sharp edges. Let's say this time we're going to apply with a chamfer. Right? And let's say I'm going to make it 5 mm chamfer. Right? With 45 degrees. So I'm going to pick the angle distance. And I'm going to pick this edge. Uh, let's say I'm going to reduce it to 3 mm. There you are. And also same with the other side of each, which is this one. Alright, so looks okay for me. So once after confirm, we just need to click OK. There you are. Okay. So guys, so if let's say if we flatten it, if we flatten it, uh, okay. Uh, okay, I just simply create or develop this 3D solid, solid modeling. You can apply, uh, you can create any any kind of uh, product if you want to. But this is, I just would like to show to you the examples of how are we going to, how can we apply a sheet metal in order, in SOLIDWORKS, okay, in order to create a certain product, right? So let's say if we go to sheet metals and we flatten it and it looks like this. There you are, okay? So in this that, uh, uh, this is how does it looks like once when we uh, have the view of flatten atau perlu pandangan ham hamparan okay in bahasa we call it pandangan hamparan kalau uh, if, if you still remember okay uh, you ada lukisan hamparan lukisan pandangan hamparan so so right so uh, uh, during your bengkel okay during fabrication fabrication workshop so if you still remember you uh, uh, in order to uh, apply with a fabrication uh, sheet metal fabrication uh, activities, you need to have uh, the lukisan hamparan in order to create a certain product, right? So, as to confirm, again, you can either choose this one or this one. Okay, guys. So, this is how you can play around with the best flange tab as well as the edge flange uh, in the sheet metals. Okay, guys. So hopefully that you can try out and hopefully that also that you understand. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video. Thank you very much.